Good morning. God is good. And all the time, God is good. God is always good. And His will for us is always the best. And is always for our good. The scriptures this morning tell us a beautiful story of Jesus' compassion, His willingness to deliver His servant and heal the sick. Uh, the scriptures today also remind us the power of faith. In Hebrews 11, verse 1, it says, Faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. So we can see faith as a noun, but faith also is a verb. In James 2, it says, Faith by itself if it is not accompanied by action, is dead. You have faith, I have seeds, I have deeds. Show me your faith without deeds, and I will show you my faith by what I do. Faith is always seen and proven by actions. Kagaya po nung ginawa ng mga, for, for today lang, no? yung mga bida sa, sa scriptures natin ngayong umaga. In our gospel reading, there was a leper during that time, a leper is supposed to be an outcast. Hindi ka pwedeng makihalubilo sa mga tao. And Jesus was in the city. So, I assume may mga, there, there were many people kasama ni Jesus. But the leper, yung faith niya, kahit alam niya na he's not supposed to go near the people, when he saw Jesus, he fell down on his face and begged and said, Lord, if you are willing, you can, you, can, you can make me clean. And of course, Jesus reached out with, with his hand and touched him saying, I am willing, be cleansed. And there's the story of the paralyzed man. Siguro po, imagine natin, no? yung paralyzed, buhat-buhat ng mga kaibigan niya sa stretcher, and then, pagdating nila dun sa bahay, sinadya nila pumunta dun sa bahay kung nasan si Jesus. Because they believe Jesus can heal the paralyzed man. Kaya lang, pagdating dun sa bahay, sobrang daming tao, sobrang crowded. And siguro, no, hindi naman uh, mga possible reactions nung nakita nila yon, patay, yari, wala to, imposible, daming tao. Pero the scripture says, there may attempt na pumasok dun sa harap. Kaya lang, uh, imposible talaga. Umakit sila ng bahay. Imagine nyo, buhat-buhat yung, 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 yung uh, paralyzed sa stretcher. So if you can imagine kung ilang tao yung kailangan bumuhat nun para may akit sa bubong, tas ibababa. It's, it was so easy to say, Wala to, imposible to. Balik na lang tayo. I mean, daming tao eh. Or, ayoko naman maghintay ng ganun katagal para lang makita si Jesus eh. Pero, they did what they did and Jesus acknowledged their faith, their actions. So, for my reflection, uh, there are three realizations I want to share. Number one, our God is willing the Lord our God is willing. In our gospel today, the leper asked Jesus, Lord, if you are willing, you can make me clean. Pero in other scriptures na pinagaling ni Jesus, they didn't ask naman, Lord, if you are willing, but Jesus cleansed them, Jesus healed them. So the Lord is willing. He's not just willing. He's always willing. So, we don't have to ask, Lord, willing ka ba? Or, Lord, willing ka ba talaga? Uh, I, I believe the more appropriate question is, are we willing? Which is the second realization. Are we willing to go to great length to claim what we are praying for, to claim what we are hoping for? The leper and the paralyzed man friends, man's friends both have faith that Jesus can heal them. 
But yung striking kasi dun sa ginawa nila dun, they're willing to go to great length to, to make that happen. And in turn, Jesus rewarded their faith with miraculous healing. And uh, Daniel, in our first reading, despite the dire circumstances he faced, he remained steadfast in his devotion to God and continued to pray and worship him, even when it meant risking his life. Na experience yun na po ba yung you prayed for something, tapos opportunity came para makuha mo yung pinagpe-pray mo, Kaya lang, may mga challenges, as always. So, medyo naging passive ka because of the challenges. And then, eventually, yung opportunity na pinagpre mo, nawala. Tapos, sasabihin natin, baka hindi will ni Lord. Or, baka hindi talaga para sa atin. The story of our church, four decades We've been praying for our church to have our own land building. For four decades, we prayed every day for our land. Pero, simili, parang wala namang tayong naiipon. But we kept praying for so many decades. And then, finally, several years ago, we were able to purchase our own land. And eventually, nag-start yung construction. And masaya na. Uh, but just like the telenovelas, kagaya ng ano, Maria Clara, kung kailan gumaganda na yung sitwasyon, laging may conflict, laging may hindrances, which pwedeng mapaisip tayo, baka hindi will ni Lord, or baka hindi talaga para sa atin. But in the midst of conflict, and pandemic, our church is rising beautifully because God is willing. First. And the second is, the cathedral of the king are willing to go to great length to claim what we're praying for. And of course, as we can see, marami pang kailangan gawin. But the good news is, he who promised is faithful. He who promised is willing. We just have to continue na maging willing. And eventually, surely, we will see the completion of our church. Third realization, in Luke 5 verse 23, Jesus asked, Which is easier to say, your sins are forgiven you, or to say, get up and walk. As, as Easter people, as the people of resurrection, we have the authority to both forgive and command. In John 20, verse 23, it says, If you forgive the sins of any, their sins have been forgiven them. If you retain the sins of any, they have been retained. Hindi ko pa ito masyadong naiintindihan eh. Pero if we will read it uh, uh, the straight, we can forgive. <laughs> Pero pwede rin hindi tayo magpatawad. If we forgive, we're freeing somebody. If, if we do not forgive, we're holding them in bondage. We have the authority to forgive. Pero in Ephesians 4 verse 32, it says, be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other, just as in Christ forgave you. God's nature is kindness, love, compassion, and forgiveness. We also have the same nature, so it should be natural for us to forgive. And just as Jesus commanded the violent waves to be still, Jesus has commanded the man with leprosy to be cleansed, and as Jesus commanded the paradise man to get up and walk, 
we have the same authority to command. We have to realize that there is power in the words that we speak. In the story of creation, in the beginning, uh, God said, the first day, God said, let there be light, and there was light. And then the second day, God said, and it was so. The third day, God said. The fourth day, God said. And then the summary of the creation, the create, God created everything by the power of his words. In Isaiah 55, verse 10 to 11, it says, Every word that comes from God's mouth has power and authority. In the same way, when we make our declaration or confession, it is an expression of our faith. In Matthew 8, the story of the centurion, uh, sabi, ni, sabi nung centurion kay Jesus, Lord, yung servant ko is very sick. Uh, pag, pagalingin niyo po. And then Jesus said, sige, pupunta ko siya sa bahay niyo. But the response of the centurion, Lord, I am not worthy for you to come under my roof, but just say the word, and my servant will be healed. In Proverbs 18, verse 21, death and life are in the power of the tongue, and those who love it will eat its fruit. So there is really power in the words we speak. Kaya we have to be more careful kung ano yung mga binibigkas natin sa bibig natin. And uh, siguro practical ways, iwasan na natin yung, kasi common sa atin yung mga expressions na, Naku, yari. Naku, patay. Those are not the words. Those are not words that speak life. Yari, pambihirang buhay ito. Uh, it's, it's a powerful reminder for us. The people of resurrection are the power, are the people who forgive and speak forth life. I forgive you. These are words that release someone and even oneself from guilt. These are words that bring healing to the person we forgive and also for us. These are powerful words that speak life to others. Misan madaling gawin, magpatawad. Misan napakahirap. Nevertheless, it is our nature. So like Daniel, the leper, and the friend of the paralyzed, ma paralyzed man, may we have the same unwavering faith and trust in God and willingness to go to great length to claim what we hope for. And like Jesus, may we exercise the authority given to us to forgive and speak forth life.